you could fall and no one would hear. you can be with us during the Portrait of a Graduate Celebration event. A special welcome to the incoming Lawrence High School Class of 2026. Today we'll celebrate the great things happening at Lawrence High School. You will get a snapshot of some of our exciting programs including career pathways, early college, sports, after school clubs, and support for social and emotional learning. We'll also take a look at where we are heading in the future through our Portrait of a Graduate. Get ready for an evening of presentations, student performances, and some special awards. We will be together here in the Performing Arts Center until about 6 p.m. Then we'll head across the street to the Fieldhouse for dinner and a chance to meet with our community partners. 
In your program is a QR code with a survey about today's events and links to, more about, to learn more about LHS offerings. Now I'd like to introduce our campus head of school, Mr. Victor Carbile Anderson. Welcome everyone. Thank you, Messiah, for the introduction and for serving as Master of Ceremony for this joyous event. Messiah truly exemplifies the whole objective behind the portrait of a graduate. Students are empowered to be leaders. Margaret J. Wheatley said it best when she said, there is no power for change greater than a community discovering what it cares about. The portrait of a graduate allowed us to truly center ourselves around our students, their experience, and their voice. As a community, it allowed us to find a collective one. Since this event is a celebration, I would like to start by highlighting a few of our accomplishments here at LHS. First, let's talk about our dropout rates. From 2018 to 2025, 21, we reduced our student dropout rate from 4% to 1%. The dropout projection for next year is less than half of a percent. This was achieved by the amazing work and collaboration of all the high school principals, the re-engagement team led by our very own Jasmine Duran, and the work of our amazing teachers that allowed our students to obtain their education by working with them during the evenings and providing Saturday classes. Let's talk about graduation. In 2019, 74% of LHS students graduated from this campus. 2020, 77%, 2021, 84%. This year, 2022, we had a grand total of 704 graduates, with 154 more students projected to graduate in the month of August. This would be the biggest graduating class in the history of the school. <laughs> Early college. 2019, we enrolled 150 students. 2020, 200. 2021, 275. 2022, we have a projected enrollment of 550 LHS students. <laughs> AP participation. These advanced placement courses are highly regarded by competitive four-year colleges and universities. In 2019, 187 students took the AP exam at LHS. 2020, 210. 2021, 653 students participated and took the AP exam. The projected AP student participation for 2022, we're gonna have over 1,000 students and close to one third of our students will be taking AP courses next year. What is education without the arts? At LHS, we have made a firm commitment to growing our students' ability to truly express themselves through the arts. This year, 50% of our students engage in the arts. In next school year, 2022 to 23, we project that 85 to 90% of our students will be taking an art elective. Community partners. They're truly instrumental to our portrait and the success of our school. In 2021 and 2022, Lawrence High School was awarded Greater Boston School of the Year by Junior Achievement. Through this partnership, I am proud to announce that next year, every freshman at Lawrence High School will take a financial literacy course. Not only are we training students to be ready for academia, but for life. I would like to conclude by highlighting our JRTC and cheer squad for winning state and national recognition. In addition, I would like to recognize the many scholars that were admitted to top colleges and universities across the nation. The start of the year was a hard transition for our staff and students in our community. We desperately needed to really build a collection and a, a connection and a relationship 
with our students, and we succeeded. Lawrence High School reached stability. From the month of November to the month of June, I am proud to announce that as a high school campus, the total sum of combined incidents is less than half of 8%. In our latest school quality review, the campus was recognized for recognizing a safe learning environment for all our students. This was the result of the combined efforts between leaders, culture specialists, teachers, parents, and students. Lawrence High School is the heart of Lawrence. We continue to grow, and through the portrait of our graduate, we will continue to thrive. Thank you. And now, I would like to invite our Assistant Superintendent, Marisa Gores. Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches. I want to share that we began this journey by applying to the Bar Foundation for funds to develop a community-driven process towards a portrait of a graduate for Lawrence. The driving question for us as a community that we want to be aligned with is, what knowledge, skills, and dispositions do our students need to be successful in today's world and in the future? Design team members were identified that represented stakeholders in the city committed to the success of students in order to meet the growing needs locally, nationally, and globally. They represented youth development organizations, higher education institutions, workforce development, and members of our business community. The design team members could not do this work alone and needed additional members reflective of multiple stakeholders to inform an inclusive process reflective of our present day vibrant community. Our community-based approach required us to design questions that would inform what skills, knowledge, habits of success do our students need to thrive? How will the learning experience deepen these identified competencies? And how will LPS measure the student progress towards these competencies? We gained answers and perspectives through online questionnaires, focus groups, and numerous meetings, all facilitated in both languages. The result? Six key domains that graduates will have the ability to demonstrate upon graduating Lawrence High School. Communicate effectively in both languages. Think critically to solve problems and innovate solutions. Collaborate and work in teams. Apply real world time, task, and money management skills. Have informed goals and plans with the confidence to execute them. And finally, engage in partnership with their community. I have the pleasure to introduce our Superintendent of Schools, Cynthia Paris. Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. And to all the students, staff, and guests whose time, work, and talent are making this such a special event. To look around tonight, like any Lauren celebration, is to see a wonderful example of the countless ways that our students differ from one another. Some are born, raised, and spend their entire childhood within the city's seven square miles. Many others make incredible journeys to come here from any number of faraway places. They have an astonishing array of strengths and abilities to lean on and shine with, and similarly, wide range of challenges to overcome. They come from families of all shapes and sizes, each with their own varied histories, values, and resources. The list goes on, but I'm as impatient as the rest of you for the next performance, so I'll get to it. These differences are all essential part of what makes the new portrait of the graduate such a meaningful accomplishment, worthy of celebrating like we are here tonight. Our community working together has spent two years looking at these differences. 
at all of the students and all of their stories. And without losing sight of them, has for the first time declared on what our students should all share. We continue to recognize that every student is unique and that the uniqueness must be seen and valued but also that there is a common, universally acknowledged set of skills, knowledge and mindsets that every LPS student must have for the best opportunity to succeed in lightning-paced, complex, and demanding world they experience. It doesn't matter if you're from the north side or the south side of the city, whether you're a Frosty, a Partham Panther, or an Arlington Gator. Your high school home could be here on campus or across the river in North Common or Rice Academy. You might be an athlete, a JROTC cadet, an artist, or all of the above or more. No matter your path to the graduation stage, regardless of when you started, what schools you came through, or how long it took, the portrait tells us what, we, what the expectations are. The ability to communicate, innovate and collaborate. To effectively apply real skills, adulting some of us call it, to make long-term plans and follow through, and to be connected, an active part of this community, wherever that might be. We are declaring that when added to students' own unique attributes, these skills will give them the platform necessary to reach their full potential. And just as importantly, we're making a commitment as a city a school system and community to doing our part to give them those skills. I'm both excited and humbled by the role LPS has played in honoring that commitment. Incredibly proud of all the work that has been done to bring us tonight and grateful to everyone throughout Lawrence who contributed. This is just a beginning and I can't wait to see where we go together from here. Thank you. You're in for a treat now, and it's my honor and pleasure to introduce This Is Me, a song performed by LHS Theater Program and a slideshow of the LHS student artwork. Enjoy. to be a shame. 
That was amazing. They were so great. And a very tough act to follow. <laughs> um, hi, everybody. My name is Jessica Rinsoul. I am the Pathways Director here at Lawrence High School. And I'm Roberto Duran, the Work-Based Learning Manager here at Lawrence High School. And today we're going to talk about the Pathways experience at the high school. Um, the Pathways connect with multiple goals of the portrait of the graduate, but primarily they connect with the awareness of career and post-secondary opportunities, as well as a connection to the community. The Pathways also connect with the innovative goal of the portrait. Students are problem solving and engaging with real world scenarios through classes aligned to their career interests. The Pathways experience begins during the freshman seminar, which is a one year credited course with Northern Essex. Students will learn in that course about the skills needed to navigate high school, financial and digital literacy, and are exposed to our Pathways and become prepared for the college and career opportunities available after their time here at Lawrence High School. Students will get exposure to each of the pathways, which include engineering, health and social assistance, computer science, business and finance, JROTC, law, and education. At the end of freshman year, students will make their pathway selection and will take courses for the next three years within that pathway in addition to their core academic classes. These courses will provide students with hands-on learning experiences in an area that they're interested in. They also will experience visits to and from employers and local college uh, professors, the opportunity to earn employer-recognized certificates such as CAD, Red Cross CPR certifications, and more. Students will also have the opportunity to take more technical courses through a partnership with GLTS that will allow them to pursue careers in automotive, construction, HVAC, and machine tool technology. Students will also have the opportunity to engage in internships within their own pathways. These internship opportunities will allow students to explore the many different areas within their chosen pathway and gain valuable experience in that field. Internships are a great opportunity for students to begin building their resumes, which we all know will create more opportunities for them in the future and also connect with employers and professionals in their own community. If you have any questions about internships, the pathways, or anything that we discuss here today, we'll be in the gym with more information for you guys. Thank you. Hello, my name is Nurka Eibar. I'm the Early College and Career Pathway Associate here at Lawrence High School. We are very excited to be here today to talk about our Early College program and how it supports the competency plan and persist. Early College is a partnership between Lawrence High School and two local colleges in the area, Northern Essex Community College and Merrimack College. This partnership provides Lawrence High School students with the opportunity to take college courses while still in high school. They are able to earn real college credits and prepare for success after high school. Our program is completely free of charge for students and families, and is open to all Lawrence High School students. This coming year, we are expanding to include 150 10th graders who will be taking a course taught by college faculty at Lawrence High School. This course is called First Year Seminar. In this class, students will earn three college credits at no cost to the families. And they will be able to gain valuable skills to be successful in high school and beyond. In terms of college credits, students in our Merrimack College program are able to earn up to 24 credits at the time of high school graduation. Our students in the Northern Essex Community College program, with the addition of this new first year seminar course, can now earn up to 34 credits upon graduation from high school. That is a potential savings of up to $15,000 or more for their families. 
All our college courses are built into the student's regular high school schedule. Everything, including transportation, materials, and support is provided. Additionally, our program offers students the opportunity to continue their college studies after their senior year in high school. And they are able to earn a two-year college degree with everything, tuition, materials, technology, and support at no cost to the students or their families. If you are interest, interested in learning more about our program, we will also have a table in the field house in the gym. Thank you. Good evening. So my name is Kevin Dean, and I'm the Campus Supervisor for Curriculum Instruction at LHS. Tonight, I'm excited to talk about how the competencies of communicate and collaborate are at the core of our approach to teaching and learning at LHS. Over the last few years, we've made great strides in ensuring that all students are afforded a strong foundation of learning that will prepare them for success during and after high school. We are a pre-AP placement, uh, pre-advanced placement, excuse me, school, where all students, starting in grade nine, take college preparation courses to develop their communication and critical thinking skills in preparation for advanced placement and early college courses where students may earn college credit. Next year, we're also offering advanced placement courses in 10th grade and adding new courses, including psychology, environmental science, and Spanish literature. Above all, we believe that our students are excelling and will continue to excel at the highest academic levels. And that it is our job to provide meaningful collaboration as a part of every classroom, every day, and where teachers partner with students, parents, and families to ensure success. A great example of how we currently communicate and collaborate is in the Model United Nations program, where all ninth grade students spend five weeks in history class researching, writing, presenting, and debating global issues working together to solve the world's problems. You can read more about the curriculum and our approach to instruction in our program of studies that is available both online and in the gymnasium tonight. I hope to see you there. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Buenas noches. Eh, vamos a hacer algo un poquito diferente. We're going to do a little bit something, uh, something a little bit different right now. Um, but I'm going to need help for this part. So in the spirit of community and social emotional learning and restorative uh, justice, I'm going to call our student ambassadors up onto the stage with me. Can you please come up and let's, let's hear it. Let's give it a round of applause for the student ambassadors. Here they are. <clears throat> so... Let's have ourselves, uh, I want to know who's in here real quick. I, vamos a ver quién llegó aquí. Uh, before we do this thing that we're going to do, I would like to know, if you are here representing grade 9, please make some noise. El grado 9, hagan un Okay, grade 9. Is that it? Is that it for grade 9? Okay, okay, that's better, that's better. All right. Go ahead and split up into your groups. One group for 9, 110, 11, and 112. If you're here representing, si están aquí representando el grado 10, grade 10, make some noise. All right, we got some. All right, okay, that's, that's, that's good, that's good. Oh, but if you're here representing grade 11, make some noise. El grado 11. Y si están aquí representando el grado 12, grade 12, make some noise. All right. And also, what about incoming ninth graders? Any incoming ninth graders? Los que están subiendo del nivel 8, ¿están aquí? No han llegado. Sí, algunos. Okay, there's some here. Okay, good. Welcome to Lawrence High School. Okay, so now that I know who's here, now that we know who's here, we're going to have ourselves a little competition. Vamos a hacer un jueguito nosotros. A ver, ¿quién puedes hacer más bulla? Vamos a ver. El que haga más bulla, les, les vamos a regalar 
Una camisita. La, la camisa que tienen puesto aquí, los t-shirts that they're wearing, we are going to give them out, but you have to make some noise. You have to earn it, okay? So we're going to call by grade, all right? We're going to start with grade nine. If you are with grade nine, you're going to make some noise, and if they see you, if the grade nine team sees you, they're going to toss you a t-shirt, so be ready, okay? El, el, lo, lo del nivel 9 van primero. Si ustedes están en el nivel 9, lo voy a decir cuando, cuando tienen que hacer bulla. Si ellos lo ven a ustedes, le van a tirar una camiseta. Pero tengan mucho cuidado que no le dé duro la camisa, ¿verdad? Ok, so ready? If you're here for grade 9, make some noise, grado 9. We, got, we still got a few more for grade 9. Grado 9. Grade nine and grade eight. How about grade eight? El ocho. <laughs> we got any more for grade nine? Any more t-shirts? That's it. Okay, we're gonna go to grade 10. Grade 10, make some noise! We got, we got some, oh, here we go, here we go. Any more t-shirts for grade 10? All right, grade 11, grado 11. for grade 12, make some noise. That's the 2022. All right, beautiful. Another round of applause for student ambassadors. Thank you, student ambassadors. Go ahead. Oh, wait a second, one more. Make some noise if you're with Abbott, Abbott Academy. There we go. <laughs> there you go. All right, thank you, student ambassadors. Thanks for your help. All right, so, moving on with the program. So, if we can go to the next slide. So, in our efforts to serve all students, we have cultivated strategic partnerships with highly regarded college accessibility programs, such as YDO, Gear Up, One Goal, Upward Bound at Salem State, and Na Naviance College and Career Program. As a result, every LHS student from grade nine onwards will have a dedicated service provider to support post-secondary plan. We also increased our wellness and mental health support capacity by building a new LHS learning center to provide support for students with specialized needs and sustain our practical academics program, including post-secondary transition support so that all students' needs can be met through highly skilled practitioners. As a result, all students needs are known and addressed by caring professionals in collaboration with families. We can go to the next slide. Actually, go back one, I'm sorry. Thank you. So as a school, we are building capacity to support students and help them connect with each other and their teachers in community. We have also, we have al almost doubled the size of our counseling staff with six new social workers and hired a uh, new culture specialist, as uh, Victor mentioned earlier, uh, to support teachers, counselors, and administrators with this work in the hallways and in our uh, restorative spaces. These culture specialists are trained in behavior management and conflict resolution, student mentorship, trauma-informed practices, suicide detection and prevention, and for students who need clinical help, we have an on-site mental health practitioner from our partnership with Greater Lawrence Family Health Center. Our institutional investments in student wellness also includes physical spaces. Now we can go to the next slide for us to support students such as the Restorative Reflection Room and our up and coming Student Wellness Center which is uh, being uh, built over the summer. We are receiving furniture and uh, we are really excited about this space. There's going to be meditation classes taking place here. There's going to be uh, all kinds of different movement and um, it's just gonna be a space for students and, uh, and adults to work together so that we can support each other and so that we can um, hold space for each other and be in community. So really excited about a lot of the stuff that's happening and um, I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to serve and I'm really excited about the things that are coming next year. Thank you everyone. Thanks Mr. Ganell. Uh, good evening, my name is Timothy Finn. I'm the assistant head of school for the campus. And I'm going to speak to you about athletics and extracurricular activities. We are a member of the MIAA Conference and the Merrimack Valley Conference. We are a Division I high school in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, there are three seasons for students to participate in. 
They can participate in the fall, winter, or spring seasons. As you can see on the screen, this is what we offer on each season. These are just a few of the awards student athletes have won at Lawrence High School. And as you've seen this evening, the ability in this place is unbelievable. I'd like to give everyone a round of applause for all of our students, please. We offer 20 varsity sports, 15 JV sports, and seven freshman only sports. Although freshmen are allowed to play on any level that they can make it. Uh, there'll be a sports information table in the gym with some of our LHS student athletes will be available to answer any of your questions about athletics. We offer 18 after school clubs for our students. Each club has a dedicated member as their advisor. Students are encouraged to join as many clubs as they like. Our goal for all our students is to participate in any extracurricular activity of their choice. Our goal is for students to show up at Lawrence High School, have their school day, and then engage in something after school that, we can, that they can enjoy, that anything that will help them make their experience at Lawrence High School great. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. My name is Melissa Melendez. I'm the ninth grade principal, and we will be here um, to award some student awards for LHS. Hi, everyone. I'm Raul Cruz, and I'm the principal of 10th grade. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reynoso, principal of Upper School. Thank you. So this award goes to a student who has shown that he has improved over the years. So the most improved award presented to Elemir Del Valle Fernandez. All right, I have the honor of doing the Positive Vibes Award. <laughs> so the Positive Vibes Award is presented to a student who exudes happiness, is always polite, and is driven by inclusivity. They make it a point to use their positivity to uplift others. The Positive Vibes Award is presented to Louis Bonnier. The LHS Community Service Award is presented to a student who cares deeply about the Lawrence community and the world at large. This student contributes by dedicating their time to giving back to the community. The LHS Community Service Award is presented to Mazaya Leon. The Lancer Award is presented to a student who embodies what it means to be a leader at LHS. A student repre that represents the Lawrence High School community, both in the classroom and in our community. The Lancer Award is presented to Chris Raquel Brito Mercedes. Uh, last, lastly, the Lancer Scholar Award, presented to a student that exemplifies academic excellence. This student demonstrated remarkable consistency at the highest level of achievement. The Lancer Scholar Award is presented to Teresa Tech. I'd now like to introduce the next performance by our LHS theater program. Thank you.
Trees, good sleep, but the knees are. 